Hi guys, my name's Emma. And hold on to your seats, guys. It's gonna be rent. <laughs> A select few of us are out there still battling, fighting the good fight. Fighting the fight for found footage horror movies. So many of you guys hate them. And I'm out there begging my friends, my family, not really, just the horror community, just to give them a chance. And then there's films like this that come along and fucking kill me. <laughs> and not in the good way. But in all seriousness, I am such a found footage fan. And some people ask me why. Really, it's because I love low budget films that can still pack a scare and rely on clever editing, blocking and movements to do a job that a full crew, being that of, you know, the DOP and the assistant grip, all that kind of stuff. And I love the practical effects behind it as well. When someone knocks on the wall and instead of thinking, oh, someone's knocking on the wall, you think that it's a ghost, you think it's something paranormal, you don't think it's what it is. At least I feel that way. I just love that kind of magic. But then there are those films that completely ruin it for me. And for me, <laughs> In 2013, a film came along that I just watched recently. It's called To Jennifer. You may have seen it in the title. <laughs> this film does not do us any justice. The film is a James Cullen Brissac production. Brissac is the winner of three Polygrind Fest Awards, including Best Found Footage Film, and a Best Indecent Screenplay winner for Blood Guts UK Horror Award. He is known around the community as a one-man horror-making machine with 33 credits for directing, 38 for writing, and 55 credits for producing. 19 of those 55 were dated between 2017 and 2018. I have to say that is very impressive. Once again, I hate tearing apart anything, especially if it's from the lower end, budget-wise, indie side of the community. But James, he also actually stars in the film. The film follows a man named Joey who suspects his girlfriend is cheating on him. Joey starts by making a video with the intentions to catch Jennifer out on film, but is soon sidetracked by his friends. I mean, I'm putting this nicely, this film is totally different to the blurb and it's more about his adventures on the side than anything to do with his girlfriend. This film uses its cliffhanger like clickbait, the oh my god come watch me confront my girlfriend. It doesn't happen. This film doesn't deliver until the last 15 minutes. And the rest of the film is a mess. Joey fights with his friends, spends 10 minutes standing on the curb complaining, goes to an abandoned house for no reason, and ends up in a hotel room with two prostitutes, and no one has sex. No sex. This is a horror film that introduces the prostitutes, and no one has sex even off camera. Some concepts for films are just that, concepts. And although Brizak had a really good concept here and a really good start and finish, what he failed to do was fill the middle with any great content whatsoever. It got to the point where I felt like it was unwatchable. <laughs> and I watch a lot of stuff. <laughs> the film was awkward to watch, the characters were irritating, and there was a lot of dead air. Like I said, standing on the curb, there was a lot of dead air with nothing. There was nothing in between. And the whole point is you're meant to be watching this crazy film about how a guy goes to confront his girlfriend. And I assumed that, stupid me, I assumed that him going there, something else would happen and it would be like a different situation, you know, like a don't breathe situation where they go in to do something and something else happens, which is such a cool idea, by the way. But this is none of that. This sold me a complete broken promise especially with the cover being of a mobile phone with blood on it. It had nothing to do with the middle of the film at all. Like I said, this is a book ending film. Start, good concept, end, great concept, middle. Un I don't even know what to call it. Let's talk about the aspects of the film. The dialogue was something that really killed me. You go from, I thought what I was watching was an authentic conversation between two dudes, you know, hey bro, bro this, bro that. But it goes from that to completely unwatchable and trying to be edgy as as fuck um, and saying that they use a lot of swearing in the movie and that is coming from me every second word. And I just felt like it was strong language for the sake of it. And again, that's coming from me. And I also found some logistic errors in the film, that being that it was meant to be found footage and there was parts edited in there. So there was like titles and stuff put in the middle of the film. And of course, there could be a way that could be edited later, but I just felt like 
it was so messy and everywhere and all over the place and then to try and make it a neat bundle it doesn't make any fucking sense also a problem that a lot of people have with found footage films is why is the person always filming and this happens with films like Blair Witch why don't they put the camera down why do they keep filming the whole time and this film definitely showed that because there was parts where I didn't even know what the fuck was going on and why they were filming it it was a either boring as fuck or b you wouldn't be filming this shit. <laughs> and then also characters not adding up with the simple character development we've been given. Yes, this film did have an understandable payoff that really did work with the premise, but with 60 minutes of dead air in between, I'm just not for it. I should also add that this film does have a sequel called From Jennifer, which doesn't seem related, but it's by the same writer. I don't think I'll be getting around to it anytime soon, although it does look a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a three out of 10. I thought this film was fucking awful. I'm sorry, I appreciate you, but I don't appreciate this. Scare score, I'm gonna give it a two out of 10, and originality, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 for the premise. Have you guys seen Two Jennifer? Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you did like this film, I'd love to know why and just your take on it. I'd love to hear that. Uh, I hope that this is okay when I rant and rave. I know you guys love it, but I hate being negative. But I think if I'm gonna give you recommendations, at least I should help you out with recommending films you don't watch so I don't waste your time either. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. <laughs> My videos are free and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky.